How's it going y'all? Texan Trout here. I'm here with Alex from Category 5 Bearings. Today we're going to be fishing this abandoned golf course. I'm standing right on the water right now. I'm also going to be trying out some of Alex's bearings, which are freaking amazing. You're going to get to see those here in a little bit. <laughs> uh, other than that, I don't really have much to say. This is a really cool spot. I've only gotten one fish here before. It was on top water in the winter, surprisingly, which seems to be my thing. But um, high hopes. Let's see what we can get. All right, man. So tell me about the uh, tell me about the bearings. I just replaced the bearings on my mock smash because I was having troubles casting weightless lures with it. What should I be looking forward to with these? Just a, a lot less effort. A lot less effort. A lot less effort it takes to cast. It's not always about how far you can get or how. It's about how less energy, how much less energy it takes to actually get the bait out there. So mm -hmm. even if you're uh, casting weightless, as long as you got the right brake settings on, it'll take a lot less effort to get that thing across the pond. Cool, cool. So the one I put in there, I just changed your side plate bearing. Mm -hmm. and, right here. Uh, I think for the free runners on this reel, it's actually three of them. There's one in the spool tension knob, and there's one on the actual uh, spool shaft itself. Okay. They're all technically the spool shaft because the spool shaft runs through them all when it's all together. Oh, of course, a plane has to go over and make things better for us. <laughs> <laughs> but the one I changed in your side plate is all uh, stainless steel, but okay. the uh, balls are ceramic. So it's just like your stock bearing, except the balls are ceramic and just that little uh, modification. Ooh. I just bird's nest myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this out. First cast. Holy moly. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> that's a lot better, man. Then you'll find you'll have to put even less effort and less effort to get to the same spots. Nice. As much as I love my mock crush, it's been like a problem combo for me because yeah. that reel just, it doesn't like anything lightweight at all. Yeah, most people, you know, their answer is just buy a, buy a Shimano, but... <laughs> no, I love mine. I think it's terrible that people just, you know... Ooh. Something. I know, man way out there we're gonna try a pitch oh yeah look at that a lot better man that's super cool thanks man no backlash at all man guys this freaking reel upgrade is insane look at that so smooth so much better than it used to be I'll have a link below if you guys want to check out Alex's products. Like I said, Category 5 bearings. I've been meaning to come out and fish with them for a while. Finally got to. Holy moly, look at that. I'm barely casting it. <sighs> super smooth, super smooth. Oh, he got one over there right as I cast it into a tree. <laughs> Did it come off? Oh, man. All right, I'm going to go try casting over here in this end because this looks juicy over here. Oh, my goodness. There's so many little bass right here. There's a whole school of baby bass. Oh, I need to get my Senko. Hold on. You see them, the, uh, the babies? Where are they? Are they over there? Oh, dude, what is that? What is that lure? I don't even know what it's called, but it's uh, something I ordered out of. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see that. Holy moly, dude. It's like a big tadpole or something. That's <laughs> wicked. <laughs> Have you gotten anything on it yet? Just one? Where'd the babies go? There was like, I think like 10 of them at least. Let's hope they grow up and become lunkers. You over here frogging, man? Yeah, trying it. This got a couple good ones already. Oh man, lucky lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. Those are really good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a bullfrog. Oh, is it really? Yeah, that's a bullfrog. They do that. Yeah, you see how his eyes come up every once in a while? Yeah, I just got a bite. No, I got a bite on the, the craw. Man, I need to let him eat it. I pulled it too early. I got another bite. Guys, I am determined to get this fish. Let's go. I keep getting bit right there in that opening. Come on. You got one? Oh man. What was it on the frog? Oh, nice, dude. Holy moly. Hold on, let me come over there. That's a good sized bass right there, man. Check them out, y'all. <laughs> healthy, healthy bass out here. Look at him. Chunky. Chunky, man. That's a fat bass. Pretty colors, Thanks, buddy. See you later, little dude. Nice. Good job, man. Hell yeah. What the?
the heck was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was like a piano note. Oh, oh, oh. I saw him come up on it. I told you. Oh, there we go. Finally, first fish. Look at the size of this little man. <laughs> he almost ripped his head off with that hook set. Who? Hey, he's been caught already today. He's got a hook in him. He's got a hook? Yeah, or not a hook, but he's got a hole in him. A little break of the skin. First fish of the day, y'all. Little tiny bass, man. <laughs> Ready to go back, little dude? There we go. I got a slow mo of that. <laughs> nice, dude. Check him out, y'all. Nice little fish. Yes, sir. Little belly on it. Healthy over here, man. Love their green colors. It works, obviously. Look. Yes, sir. Oh, oh my goodness. Hell yeah. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so close. So close. Man, that was a stealth bite. I'd say we probably got another hour before the storm comes in. 30 minutes hour. Because it's getting pretty dark out here, man. All right, y'all. Back in the car again. The other two guys ended up taking off because I think the weather's about to get pretty bad outside. Uh, while we were out there, it started raining super bad. I'm, I'm like absolutely soaked right now, dude. I need to go home and change this shirt. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that GoPros are water resistant, but I'm not sure if you're supposed to be exposing them to water too much. So I think it's probably a good idea that we ended up taking off. But I only ended up getting one little tiny fish, one little, little tiny dink. Uh, I lost the other one. So I think that makes me one for two. Yeah, one for two. I think that's correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we ended up making plans to meet again tomorrow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we're going, but Alex seems to have an idea, so I'm gonna trust him. So I guess for now, this is the end of part one or day one. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get something to drink, I'm gonna get some food because I am just absolutely starving right now. So I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Look who it is, man. Alex, what are we doing today? We're about to catch some big fish, man. Catch some big ins in this pond, man. Outside of a, a church down here. <laughs> Not gonna say which one it is. God willing. <laughs> God willing, man. Alex just got me a shirt, Cat 5 shirt. Check it out, it's got a ruler on the front. Freaking sick, man. I'm gonna be repping this for sure. Okay, so Alex is about to demonstrate to you guys what he does replacing these bearings. Here we have just the uh, side plate and this is one of the spool shaft bearings. The spool shaft will go right in, here, in this hole and it's held down by just a little clip in that clip sorry if i'm covering it up i don't want to lose that clip oh yeah yesterday we we actually ended up filming this yesterday but uh the clip flew in the grass <laughs> and uh <laughs> it was just there was a road right next to us so you couldn't hear anything anyway a little tuba bearings right there see one of those it looks just like your any other bearing except this one's from cat five brother He's got balls made of ceramic. So right now he's replacing the bearings on my weightless rod, which I, I either use this weightless or for like really light lures. And I can cast pretty good with it, but it, it, it can just be better. There's times where I just can't fight the wind with that thing. All right. All right. Success. All done up. Let's go try it out now. Eliminator going out. It's got a really, really slow roll it like that. Works kind of like a wake bait, like a top water wake bait almost. You can work it on top of all this nasty, nasty grass. So, um, I just made the very unpleasant discovery that I I left all of my GoPro batteries at home and home is at home is like 20 miles from here. I turned off my camera and it turns out that was the last time it was going to turn off. I looked in my bag and uh there's just there's no batteries in there. So uh I guess I'm going to go home and get my batteries. I'm I'm just really mad at myself right now. <laughs> right now I'm on the east side of San Antonio and the drive over here is just absolutely ridiculous. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and head over there. Lights on. Got it, turning six lights on. Bro, bro. Inside a bright green Crown Royal Apple sack are my batteries. I don't know how I didn't see this.
Oh my God, Alex. Are you ready to try this again, man? <laughs> Ooh, this water is freezing. Oh, no. This reel's done. Oh, my goodness. Look at this backlash. Bro, we got to go to the hospital, man. But not for me. I got this reel. Oh, man. That's a bad that one. is nasty, dude. I tried to get it out. It's so deep already. Oh, man. Yeah, I clipped the, the branches when I was trying to cast. That's the worst. It just overruns 10,000 times. Oh my goodness, man. Something stole the tail off my eliminator too, unfortunately. <laughs> Something nipped at it. Hey, if it works, it works. I'm gonna head to a vape store real quick since I ripped my other vape. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll meet you at the Waldem area somewhere? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you wherever I'm gonna be at. Alright. Uh, Alright. I'll be just down the road like 10 minutes. Cool, cool. All right, y'all, here I am headed to the next spot. It's a few ponds off of a. Uh, on, wait for this car to go by. It's a few ponds off of a, uh, a pretty busy road out here. Way over here on the west side of San Antonio. I've heard about it a bunch in, in various groups I'm in, but I've never personally fished these ponds, so I figured I'd give it a go. It's like a bunch of different little ponds, like three or four of them, I think. They look pretty healthy from right here. They're right behind me, right there. And uh, I believe Alex is gonna meet me over here. He's out getting some vape juice right now, so I'm waiting on him. But uh, let's get started and see what we can get. And there's a lot of bait fish in here. I don't know if you guys can see him moving. Tons and tons, a little tiny shad. I'm not completely sure if there's even bass in here. It's super shallow. I'm looking out right now and it looks like the deepest this gets is maybe a foot. Okay, the water on this side is not nearly as clear, like at all. It's a completely different environment on this side. Oh man, Alex is way down there and I'm seeing fish way over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a bunch of shad moving. We're playing the waiting on Alex game now. He is so close yet so far away. Oh my goodness, dude, the shatter coming this way. <laughs> oh. Look who finally decided to show up, man. What's up, dog? You get anything? I don't know what the move is out here, man. I haven't gotten anything to bite, but I'm seeing like a ton of shad and stuff. Dude, what the heck is this? What the heck is that? It's like fabric or something like compressed together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all spot number two. And uh, looks like there's a home right here. Yeah, someone lives here, I think. <laughs> All right, y'all, how's it going? Didn't catch anything down at that pond. I got Alex here with me. Oh, there's, what was your name again? <laughs> John, <laughs> gotta get it right. Don't wanna, don't wanna embarrass myself. But uh, yeah, sometimes you're not gonna catch anything. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I was gonna go get kicked out of some apartments again, but I think I might go home and have some drinks instead. Mr. Man here ended up, uh, there he is. Oh, that little thing? <laughs> Mr. Man here ended up uh, upgrading my reels. You guys got to see that. Uh, I'm gonna have a link below to all of his products. You guys should definitely go check them out. For sure, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of fun, even though we didn't get anything. I got that little dinky. Oh yeah, he, he got a dink. <laughs> he got a dink, Mr. Uh, Lucky. Yeah. I didn't get anything, but uh, yeah, it's gonna happen, man, for sure. And if you order something on my website and your address is in the state of Texas, there'll always be a little something extra for you in that box, all right? We love our Texas. Hey, there we go. There's some incentive. Go check them out, y'all, for sure. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have much else to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Go ahead and visit the comment section. Let me guys know what you thought of the video. And if you haven't already, show me some support and hit that subscribe button. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.